Um, so for this demo, I will discuss the bank reconciliation process. So the first step is to upload or import the bank file or bank statement into NetSuite. To do that, navigate to Transactions tab, Bank, Banking Import History, and click Upload File. Um, please note that your bank statement should be one of the following formats. So to upload the file, you can either click Choose a File or just drop the file here. And once the file is attached, select Import with a default parser and select from the drop-down list the bank account and click Import. You can also download the CSV template here. On the upper right part of the screen, you will see this notification. Just click Track Your Status. Um, to check if your import completed successfully. So the next step is to match bank data to the NetSuite instructions. So navigate again to Transactions tab, Bank, and click Match Bank Data. First, select the bank account. Once selected, you can see on the left side are the imported bank data and on the right side are the account transactions. At the bottom, you can see the options to create new journal entry, new charge, and new deposit. You will also notice this checkbox, the make auto create rule from selected transactions feature which is unfortunately not yet available in Australia since it does not process um, transactions with GST. So going back, just click the transactions that you need to match and then click match. You also have the option to exclude bank transaction. So to show you, just click the bank transaction that you want to exclude and then click exclude. It will automatically go to excluded tab. So you will see here that transaction that I excluded. But since I need to match this one, I'll just restore it. Go back to to be match tab and match the transactions. So after matching all the transactions, go to Matches to Submit tab for validation. And then click Submit. So the next and the last step is to reconcile the bank statement. You can click Reconcile Account Statement here. So you will notice that the account field is automatically populated with the bank account. So the other way around is to navigate to Transactions tab, Bank, and click Reconcile Account Statement. So the difference here is that the account field is not automatically populated with the bank account. So we can just enter the bank account here. And then enter the statement date. So for example, the month of February. Enter the ending balance. And you will see here the summary table consists of the ending statement balance, which we entered, the last reconciled balance, and the amount that we need to reconcile which are these transactions. So once we're done reconciling these transactions and the difference here is zero, you can click reconcile and then click OK. You will see here that 
we're done reconciling this bank account for this for the month of February. So that's it for the bank reconciliation process.